Well, hey, friends, how are you? You know, I have something happened the other day I want to share with you. I was mowing my grass the other day, and I should have worn this mask. Do you want to know why I should have worn this mask? <laughs> you don't want to know why? Oh, some of you probably said, no, we don't want to know why, just because that's, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway, all right? So if you have ever mown grass in the early spring, you know that there are lots of bugs and flies in the grass, right? Because they're just waking up from the winter and they're active. And then they fly up at your face. And one of those did that the other day to me. And guess what? I had my mouth opened and he flew in my mouth and I swallowed a fly. True story. I swallowed a fly this week mowing my grass. Wow. <laughs> And I quick went and got some water because and coughed a bit and it was okay. I'm all right. But maybe that's happened to you before. Well, it reminded me of the rhyme or song that I learned long ago. And maybe you remember this rhyme too. It's one of those rhymes that is called a cumulative rhyme where each verse builds on the previous verse. And this particular rhyme is about an older woman who swallows increasingly large animals each to catch their previously swallowed animal, but then she dies after swallowing a horse. <laughs> you might remember that she starts out swallowing small things like a fly, but the things getting swallowed become larger, which really sort of makes the song funny. Well, if you know it, say it along with me. Here we go. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. Imagine that, she swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady that swallowed a dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a goat. She just opened her throat and swallowed a goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse. <sighs> She's dead, of course. Wow. <laughs> well, if you remember this rhyme, <laughs> if you were able to say it with me, and if you had this rhyme memorized, hey, send me an email at mstaltzfus at friendshipcommunity.net. I want to know if you remembered this rhyme and if you could say it the whole way through with me. Now, uh, all things truth and revealed, I did not remember this word for word and I was reading it. So, but if you were able to say it along with me, and if you remember it, again, mstaltzfus at friendshipcommunity.net. Let me know. And I also want to know if you're watching these videos. So, the humor of this song or this verse stems from the absurdity that this woman is somehow able to swallow animals of different and increasingly larger sizes and survive until she swallows the horse. Now, we do know that some of these things are possible, like swallowing a fly. Again, I should be wearing a mask. I never thought about wearing a mask um, mowing grass in the early spring because the bugs do fly up. So it might be a good thing. So we can swallow a fly like I did. And maybe, maybe a spider and maybe a bird, a small one. Um, but surely it would be impossible to swallow a cat, a dog, a goat, a cow, and a horse, <laughs> wouldn't it? Now, 
we do know that Jesus said this when addressing some complex questions about some seemingly impossible situations. He said, with people, these things are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Hmm. We do know that God is powerful. Jeremiah 32, 17 says, Lord and King, you have reached out your great and powerful arm. You have made the earth and the heavens. Nothing is too hard for you. And I believe that's true. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is too hard for him. So, does that mean that God would help me swallow a horse? Well, we should not think that God will choose to help us do things like swallowing large animals. God does have the power to do anything, including things that will be beneficial and helpful to us. We should be very aware that because of God's power and presence in our lives, we can do more than we might think is possible. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. So be open to the good and healthy things that God wants to do in your life. He is all powerful. And with all things, it is never impossible for God. But watch out for those flies, okay? And I wish for you a day of joy, of good health, and of peace.